Ja Morant has officially been suspended for 25 games for this upcoming season. This, of course, in response to the incident of Ja flashing a gun on Instagram Live, which was the second such occurrence. The last time receiving an eight-game suspension, checking himself into a rehab or counseling facility for like three days. And while you have a lot of NBA fans, even players and the Players Association up in arms saying the suspension was excessive, some saying the suspension wasn't enough considering this was Jaws' second time doing the same thing, which clearly meant he didn't care nor learn from anything from his first punishment. And while I'm not here to debate that, even though I will touch on that in this video, the question that I feel is more important here is will this change John Morant and his behavior, and will he actually start taking this seriously and realizing just how much he has to lose if he does this again. So let's talk about it. As always, I know if you've been watching the channel for a while, you're probably getting sick of me starting with this intro, but if you're new to the channel and you like this type of content, it would mean a great deal to me if you subscribe. We just passed 20,000 subs and hoping to keep that momentum going as we head into the off season. But anyway, so I made a video right around the time that Jaw checked him into that counseling facility or rehab facility in Florida that was shortly after he showed off a gun at a nightclub in Denver. His team and the league suspended him indefinitely. Jaw said that he was going to be taking some time away to focus on his mental health, how to better deal with the stress and pressure he was under. And honestly, at that time, I expressed in that video, I was very sympathetic to how he was handling the situation because we knew it was the end of the season. The Grizzlies were going to be going into the playoffs soon. And for Jaw, a superstar, knowing how much his team needed him, I thought it was very big of him to admit that what he did was wrong, how he was struggling with something, because honestly, it doesn't matter who you are, how successful you are, and how much money you have, you don't know what people are truly going through deep down. And for Jaw to admit that he had some internal struggles going on, stepping away from the game and going to a counseling program, I actually thought it was a very mature and responsible thing to do. And even his statement that he made after flashing the gun, to me, I thought came off as very sincere. But then, of course, we saw that that was all for show. Clearly, he didn't mean what he said, could care less about his actions, especially when you saw that he lasted in that program all for but a matter of 48 hours. And when you saw him flash a gun yet again on Instagram Live after the Grizzlies got embarrassed in the first round of the playoffs, at that point, you really couldn't have sympathy for Jaw. Not after everything that had happened, getting punished by the league, suspended from all team activities, and then you see him do it again. Made any of the comments and actions and showing remorse that he did before not sincere at all. And let's not forget, it also doesn't help all of the other allegations that involved Jaw leading up to that first gun flashing incident in which him and his crew were accused of shining a laser through their car at some Pacer staffers, or the apparent altercation Jaw had with a minor where he also displayed a gun in that incident. Again, alleged, but from a PR standpoint, whether it's true or not, is not a good look. When you follow that up, showing a gun for the world to see twice, waving it around like it's a toy, just for fun, yeah, is not good. And look, I've seen a number of people, whether it be on Twitter or even the comments on some of my videos, what's the big deal? Guns aren't illegal. He didn't commit a crime. He didn't shoot anybody. Second Amendment right. This is America. And what I'll say is, no. Whether it's legal or not, doesn't matter. That is completely beside the point. There are a lot of things in life that are legal, but if your employer or company has a policy against the use of guns or whatever legal action you're doing, but they have a policy against it and an image to protect, there are going to be consequences. Just because something is legal doesn't mean you have the free will to do whatever the hell you want as an NBA basketball player. You're representing the league. You're representing their brand. And not only that, as big of a star as Ja is, you're representing your own brand and image. And when something is damaging to the NBA, that has such a large global footprint and fan base, yeah, they're not going to stand for shenanigans like this, especially after already being warned once to not do it again. Like if Jaw wants to have guns, he wants to carry for his own personal protection or just for fun, whatever, that's his right. Keep it private. Don't go showing it around on live stream in front of your millions of followers, and especially not when you have so much riding on your actions. The man has so much to lose when you think about the financial impact it could have on his career. Losing sponsorships, endorsements, losing out on salary after signing a max contract extension that goes into effect this upcoming season. Dude has what so many athletes would only dream to have in being a superstar in the NBA. Literally less than 300 people in the entire world can say they are NBA basketball players. And even a select few of those can call themselves stars in the league on the biggest contracts. He's willing to throw all of that away just to try to show that he's hard, that he's got guns and isn't afraid to let you know about it? Why? Why throw everything away that you've built and worked on your entire life since you were a child for that? It's one thing you do it once, okay, dumb thing to do, but everyone makes mistakes, don't do it again, but doing it a second time, that's just downright stupid and irresponsible. And look, if Jaw does this again, 
has another encounter with guns, whether it be he's holding a gun and showing it up for the world to see on live stream, or another allegation of him getting into altercation with others where guns were involved in some manner. That might be it for him. The league could very well say, that's it. You're out. We've warned you twice. You had your chances. You don't get any more. I really don't think his career would recover if something like this happened again. Which again, goes back to the question and the purpose of this video, will this suspension actually change Jaw? Knock some sense into him and say, you know what? I'm not going to do this anymore. I'm not going to throw away my career for this. If it means I say goodbye to some longtime friends and people I've been hanging out with, so be it. I've got too much to lose to not take this seriously. Like for John Morant, this isn't just your everyday NBA player. This is a player that has so much earning potential when it comes to his shoe deals, other endorsements, and maximum salary potential with how good he is and how quickly he rose to stardom for his age. Those types of players don't come around very often. And when you have that level of influence, that level of stardom and being an icon starting at such a young age, you're one of the few players to actually have an earning potential in the hundreds of millions of dollars over the course of your career. Potentially close to over a billion dollars when you talk about shoe deals that bring in income even after you've retired from the game of basketball. And so what I'll say is this, will this change things for Jaw? I think that it will, because Jaw being suspended for this many games without pay, and now, unlike last season, is 25 games without pay at his new salary of $33.5 million, this up from the $12.1 million from the final year of his rookie deal he was making last year, that's going to hit hard when you see the amount you're losing on a per game basis compared to the 8 games you got docked without pay last season. And you also factor in that Jaw didn't make an All-NBA team, which cost him close to $40 million by not reaching that bonus incentive, which you'd have to think had the whole gun situation not gone down, which caused him to miss games at the end of the season, he very well likely would have been selected to an All-NBA team. And while as of right now, Nike, I believe Powerade, has said that they're not going to be pulling out of their partnership with Jaw, but you better believe if it happens again, they will. Knowing all of this and the potential financial hit that it's going to have on Jaw, I do think this will actually whip him into shape. Do I think Jaw actually cares or feels bad about what he did? No, I don't think he cares one bit. That was already clear with his half-hearted apology and then doing it again. But what Jaw does care about is his money, fame, and fortune. He said himself, when someone asked if there was one legal thing that you're addicted to, his response, money. Dude loves his money, hopefully more than his guns. And getting a big suspension like this and losing out on more than a fourth of his $33.5 million salary for doing something stupid is going to hurt and cause him to change. I know a video like this is going to cause a little bit of controversy. Some people aren't going to like what I have to say and my stance on it. And I mean, even if I lose some subs, that's fine. But please try and be respectful in the comments, both to each other and to myself. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you think this 25 game suspension is the punishment that forces Jaw to finally learn from his actions and not do it again? Or do you think at the end of the day, this probably isn't going to mean much and Jaw is still going to keep doing his thing until he ultimately finds himself out of the league? Let me know in the comments. As always, be sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.